now let us go for question number 4 So in our last lecture we finished up to question number 3 in this exercise 2.5 Now we are moving to question number 4 Question number 4 is what? Expand each of the following using suitable identities Now we need to expand it Ok, again this is just like product So that very first one What it is given first one? X plus 2y plus 4z plus x plus 2y plus 4z whole square So which identity is coming in our mind? a plus b plus c whole square Very good So it is a plus b plus c whole square Please tell me what it will be yes. equal to a square plus oh. b square Right plus c square Very good plus 2ab plus very good. c plus 2c Ok very nice Very nice Ok can you tell brother that what it will be? Can you tell that what x plus y plus z whole square? Tell me. You tell x plus y plus z whole square what I should write here. Don't see there. Here you see. Because already you are knowing na, these identities. Once you are knowing then you expand it. Tell me. Sir, x square. Okay. Square plus y square, sir. Okay. Plus z square. Okay. Plus 2. Okay. 2 here. 2 x. 2 2 x. Z, sir. Z. Okay. Plus uh, y z, sir. 2 y z. Plus uh, 2 z y z. Huh? Z y here itself, huh? Z X Z X here? Hmm? Further? Sir. 4 will not be there man 2 X Y Here anywhere 4 is coming In front of you This Already it is there, a plus b plus c whole square. Same thing should be written now. And why you are getting confused? I am not understanding. See, here you are giving this two x and other things in haphazard manner. So, what is there? There is a trait. So, xy, first multiply xy, so 2xy. Another one, yz, so 2yz. Another one, zx. That's all. Okay, the only difference was here x plus y plus z was there, here a plus b plus c it is there, same thing it is. Yes or no? Okay, right. So the same identity has to be used because here x plus y plus 4z is there, so I am rubbing it now. So as we are told correctly, we have to use this identity only, so we will be finding out. So x square plus 2y whole square, very good, plus 4z whole square, plus 2 into x into 2y, plus 2 into 2y into 4z, plus 2 into x into 4z. So this is giving you x square, yes? 4y square? Plus 16 is x square. Okay. 8x square. 8x square. Oh, 8? X Y X Y is not? 8 X Y 2 X X into 2 Y So 2 into X into 2 Y 4 X Y is not? Eh? It will be 4 X Y 4 X Y Okay plus 16 X Y X Y Okay you close it Close that Okay now you tell 16 Y Z Plus 8 X 8 X Z Okay, here it comes Right? Okay, you leave it closed Right Now, any other question just you tell me? Sir, 1 by 4 is minus 
The same equation is there. Everywhere same question is there. Huh? The same identity we have to use it. Right? No problem. Tell me anyone. Sir, sixth one. Sixth one. Okay. Sixth one. What it is? Sir, one by four a minus. One by four a minus. One by two b plus. One by two b plus. One whole square. One whole square. So same formula is there. The only thing is there, in place of plus, it has become minus. Okay, one has become minus, no problem. Wherever that term will come, this second term, we will be putting its value as minus. Okay? And nothing more difference is there. Then what it is? a square plus b square plus c square. So 1 by 4a whole square. Plus, here we will put 1 like this. Inside the bracket, we will put as minus 1 by 2b. No problem. Okay. Then plus 1 whole square plus 2 into AB 2AB. So 1 by 4A and B is what? Minus 1 by 2B. Yes or no? Okay. Second. So 2AB is over. Another one 2BC. So 2 into B is minus 1 by 2B and C is 1. Very good. Plus 2ac. Now, so 2 into 1 by 4a. This is this first term and 1 is the last term. That is C. Tell me any doubt. No doubt. Okay. So, now further we will be solving it. How will you solve? Tell me. 1 by 8 is square. Once again, think of. You are going for squaring. So, 1 by square. You are going for squaring, squaring of 1 by 4. 1 by 4 is squaring means what? 1 by 4 into 1 by 4. Yes or no? Then what you are getting? 8 you are getting? 1 by 16. Okay, so we must do calculation fast. But, correct. If we are doing fast calculation, but if we are committing mistake, then it is not acceptable. Then it's better that you should do it slower. So whatever you do, it should be done correctly. If you are doing it in slow, no problem. But correctly. Okay? Right. So 1 by 16? A square. A square. Very good. Next one. Plus 1 by 4 B square. Yes. Because this minus automatically it will become plus. Okay. So plus... 1 by 2, B square, but now you tell it, so some terms, plus, plus 1, okay, then after that you tell me, so plus, uh, so 1 you have it, sir, okay, leave it, 1 already you have written, now this 1 you tell me, hmm. tell me, Okay, can you tell me this term what we are getting? So one by Solve it. Solve it and then tell me. One by thirty. One by thirty. Minus two by eight AB. Yes, you see that he has put correctly. Okay, so minus two, two into one into minus one minus two, and four into two, it has become eight. A into B. A B. Though we can cancel, though we can cancel later on, this 2 2 can also be cancelled. So if it is getting minus 2 by 8, it will become minus 1 by 4 only. But that is correct. Okay. So here plus will not be there. Minus 1 by 4 A B. Okay. Now, next one. Tell me, Bharat. Hmm. So minus, so minus. Okay, fast. So minus one by minus one by four. Sir. Minus one by four. Yes. Yes. Can you tell? Minus this two. one. Minus, minus one. Minus one. 
minus 1 we will take this 2 and 2 that's called cancel minus 1 b minus 1 b we can write as minus b okay minus b next one yes Bharat. next last one tell me One by two a. Very good. So this two has cancelled this, and you have got plus one by two a. So this is the answer you will be getting. Yes or no? Understood now? So the noted down. Can I repeat for us? Okay, for us you need to little bit b causes. In multiplication part, that's what I told you last class also. You have to pay a little more attention towards this. Okay. Now question number 5. Should we go for solving question number 5? Okay. Question number 5. Right? Okay. Question number 5, again factorize has come now. Again, we need to factorize, we need to find factor. Okay, so that expansion is given to us. Now we need to find factor. Tell me that what is first question? 4x square plus 9y. 4x square plus 9x. Y square. Y square. Plus 16z square. Okay, plus 16z square. Plus 12xy minus. Plus 12xy minus. 24 y z y z minus 16 minus 16 x z ok now you both pay attention without doing anything here ok now what it is there just see what because here minus is also there in between if it is there a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca then problem is not there okay if suppose you are given that a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca then you are knowing that you will be writing a plus b plus c whole square correct or not then problem is not there but what is the problem now somewhere minus is also there so now we have to find out exactly that which term is minus here. Whether B term will become minus or C term will become minus or which term will become minus. Right or not? So that we need to identify slowly and carefully. The main thing slowly and carefully. This one. Okay? Now see here. This 4x square you can write it as 2x whole square. Why I am putting some gap here? So that if we will identify there that this term will consist of minus so that I can put here minus. Because our minus is square will become plus. There only it will affect. Yes or no? Okay. Now for this one plus again I am keeping some gap and I am keeping 3y square. Yes or no? Okay. Then again here I am keeping some gap and 4z whole square. Up till here any doubt in understanding? No doubt. 4x square we have written as 2x whole square. 9y square we have written as 3y whole square. 16z we have written 4z whole square. Okay? Right. Why I have left some spaces? Because we will identify from here that which is minus. Okay. Now plus now 12xy so 2 2ab 2ab should come now eh? so x and y x and y means these two terms are there these two terms only are there for x and y ok so 2 into 2x into 3y so we can see that here 2 into a into b already it is there now what we have got 12xy so 12xy is positive only. 12xy here it has become positive. We will not do anything here now. Okay. Plus I am leaving it here. Another term. Now minus 24yz has come. Here minus 24yz. So we will write here what? Plus 2 into. Now yz means these two terms. Yes or no? 
ओके सो थ्री वाई एंड इन टू फोर जेड यस और नो नाउ यू सी दैट फोर इन टू थ्री इन टू टू व्हाट इट इज फोर इन टू थ्री इन टू टू ट्वेंटी फोर सो ट्वेंटी फोर इज सेटिस्फाइड राइट y into z satisfied right but your minus is there but your minus is there so minus is there it means any one term in this two consists of minus any one term either three y will be minus or four z will be minus then only it can become minus here yes or no but understanding this point you have to understand very carefully that where we have to put minus correct now understand suppose if you are telling uh, that 3y is minus then it will affect it will affect here also it will affect here also then it will become minus it means this 4z will be minus why because z term is not here so it will not be affecting there Okay, so we can write here as minus 4z. Yes or no? And we can write here also as minus 4z. Next one, minus. So we are writing plus. Then 16 again 2 into xz. X term is 2x, 2x. Now z term has become minus 4z. So minus. Four, ten. Correct. So now, once we are multiplying here, two into two, four into four, sixteen. So sixteen has come. Due to this minus, minus will be coming here, and x and z will be satisfied. Satisfied or not? So now understood that this term is minus, and so this is there now. So we need to. Find out. Now we have to factorize. Now we will be able to factorize in a very nice manner. So what a plus b plus c whole square. So this will be equal to what a. So a is 2x. B is plus 3y minus 4z. Minus 4z. Very good. Whole square. This is the factorization. So in this type of question, where all plus is there, that much product is not there. But when minus is there, very carefully you have to find out that which term will become minus. Okay? So just note it down. Same way we will solve second one also. 